MARE is a free and open source software distribution, targeted at hardware vendors to serve as a middleware for Linux kernel-based mobile-oriented operating systems. It is a fork of Migo. Topic. Goals Some goals of the project are Openly developed with transparency built into the fabric of the project Provide a mobile device-oriented architecture Primary customers are device vendors, not end-users Have structure, processes and tools to make life easy for device manufacturers Support innovation in the mobile OS space Inclusive of projects and technologies e.g. Migo, Tizen, Quart, EFL, HTML5 Governed as a meritocracy Run as a non-profit through donations Topic. Software architecture MARE is not an operating system, it is aimed to be one component of an operating system based on the Linux kernel. MARE is a part of the operating system above the Linux kernel and below the graphical user interface. MARE just provides the equivalent of the Migo core. The former Migo user interfaces and hardware adaptation are to be done by various other projects and by hardware manufacturers, which will be able to build their products on top of the Mare core. Topic: <laughs> Components. There is support for systemed, Wayland, Hybris, and other current FOSS software. Zephyr is an attempt at creating a stack for use by other projects to be exploring lightweight, high performance, next generation UIs based on Mare, Quart 5, QML Compositor, and Wayland, Western 1.3, which was released on of October 2013, supports Livibris, making it possible to use Android device drivers with Wayland. Supported hardware MARE can be compiled for a number of instruction sets such as x86, ARM or MIPS. There are MARE-based builds available for various devices, including Raspberry Pi, BeagleBoard, Nokia N900, Nokia N950, Nokia N9 and for various Intel Atom-based tablets. These also include hardware adaptation packages and various UXs running on top of Mare, provided by different projects. They can be flashed on the device and might work in dual boot mode with the original firmware. Mare uses Open Build Service, OBS in Mare but with one repository per architecture. Topic. Products based on Mare Topic. KDE Plasma Active Mare was used as a reference platform for KDE's Plasma Active. Topic. Vivaldi Tablet and Improv Computer In January 2012 a Plasma Active Tablet device, initially known as Spark Tablet and soon renamed Vivaldi Tablet, was announced. Based on the Allwinner A20 SOC, it would have a 7. Multi-touch display, run the Plasma Active user interface on top of Mare, and have a target price of about €200. Euros. The project encountered some problems when its hardware partner in China completely changed the internal components and was reluctant to release the kernel source for the new hardware. As of early July 2012, the Vivaldi had been set back, but a solution was in the pipes, according to Plasma developer Aaron Sego. As a kind of side project Improv Computer was targeted for developers and was to be released in January 2014, Mare pre-installed. 
In mid-2014 both projects were discontinued. Nemo Mobile Parallel to Sailfish OS by Yola, Nemo Mobile is a community-driven operating system based on a Linux kernel, Mare, a GUI and diverse applications. <laughs> Yola and Sailfish OS In July 2012 Yola, a Finnish company founded by former Nokia employees involved in Migo development, announced their work on a new operating system called Sailfish OS, which is based on Migo and MERS core with added proprietary GUI and hardware implementation layers. It was presented in late November 2012. Yola released its first smartphone using Sailfish in 2013, simply called Yola. In October 2014 Yola announced for May 2015 the Yola tablet with Sailfish OS 2.0 which is to be 64-bit on quad-core Intel CPU. Also 2.0 is ready for licensing, hence it is used with products like Aquafish by Intex and Puzzlephone. Yuangxin <laughs> OS In November 2014, Yuangxin Technology in China announced it is working on Yuangxin OS. The company's president Xi Wenyong called the OS, China's own smartphone OS, to be on par with Android and Apple iOS. Mr. Xi explained to a reporter that Yuanxi OS is based on the Mare distribution. History MERS initial aim to provide a completely free alternative to the MIMO operating system, which was able to run on Nokia Internet tablets such as the N800 and N810 collectively known as the N8X0 devices, it was based on Ubuntu 9.04, and with the release of MIMO 5, Fremantle, a new goal emerged, to bring, as much of Fremantle as we can get on the N8X0. Topic. Shift to Migo Mare suspended development at release 0.17, since focus had switched to building Migo for the N800 and N810 devices. By then, Migo was available and supported by a much wider community. Topic. Collapse of Migo The development was silently resumed during the summer of 2011 by a handful of Migo developers some of them previously active in the Mare project, after Nokia changed its strategy in February 2011. These developers were not satisfied with the way Migo had been governed behind closed doors especially after Nokia departed, and they were also concerned that Migo heavily depended on big companies which could stop supporting it, as was the case when Nokia abandoned Migo as part of its new strategy. This was again proven to be a problem after Intel, Samsung and the Linux Foundation announced they were going to create a new operating system called Tizen. This new OS began focusing on HTML5 and using the Enlightenment Foundation Libraries EFL instead of Quart for native applications. However, on May 14, 2014 it was announced that Tizen, Common would be bringing Quart back by starting to ship with it integrated. Topic. Revival with Migo Reconstructed After the Tizen project was announced, the revival of the Mare project was announced on the Migo mailing list, with the promise that it would be developed and governed completely in the open as a meritocracy, unlike Migo and Tizen. It would also be based on the Migo code base and tools, aiming to provide just the equivalent of the Migo core with no default UI. 
The APIs for third-party application development are included, meaning that Quart, EFL, and HTML5 would be supported on the platform, and maybe even others if widely requested. The project quickly started to gain traction among many open source developers who had been involved in Migo, and it started being used by former Migo projects, such as the reference handset UX, now rebased on top of Mare and called Nemo Mobile, and a couple of projects targeting tablet UXs such as Cordia, a re-implementation of the MIMO 5 Hilden UX, and Plasma Active emerged on top of Mare. Equivalent mare based project of the former Migo IVI and Smart TV UXs are not yet known to exist. The aim of the mare community is to create, in a solid way, what had been unable to be done with Migo. Mare is to become what Migo was expected to be but has not become. Mare aims to become the Migo 2.0 when the Linux Foundation finds that it complies with all of the Migo requirements. Topic. See also Comparison of mobile operating systems